Well, Eamon, the Bank of England's been conducting this stress test on Britain's eight biggest uh, lenders. The big loser is the Cooperative Bank, uh, as expected. What it shows is that in the event of a very severe UK recession in which uh, house prices fall by 35 per cent, unemployment rises to 12 per cent, and GDP crashes uh, by 3.5 per cent, uh, that the Co-op Bank would see its capital reserves entirely exhausted. Now, uh, as a consequence of that, the Co-op Bank has prepared a revised uh, plan for strengthening its balance sheet. That's been accepted by uh, the Bank of England. Uh, the other two uh, banks that you could put in the losers category are the two big state-backed banks in which we as British taxpayers all hold uh, an interest. They are Lloyds Banking Group and Royal Bank of Scotland. Now, they passed uh, the minimum capital buffer that was set as the benchmark uh, by the Bank of England, but they passed more narrowly than some of the other uh, high street uh, lenders, and they were told that as at the end of 2013, in terms of where their capital stood, they needed to make improvements. They have since presented revised plans to the Bank of England, and those have been accepted. Uh, I'm expecting that if it hasn't come out uh, in the last minute or so, uh, that RBS will be announcing plans uh, to raise another £2 billion pounds or so by issuing bonds which convert to shares in times of stress. Um, it's the most severe stress test conducted on Britain's banks since the financial crisis of 2008 when of course Lloyds and RBS were bailed out with more than £65 billion pounds of taxpayers' money. Uh, but there is a silver lining uh, to this announcement this morning. Mark Carney, the Bank of England governor, says that what these tests have shown is that the banking system is much more resilient now than it was in the crisis of six years ago. And that as a result of that, there's no need for system-wide actions across the banking sector to force them to strengthen their positions. Eight banks were tested. Only one of them, the Co-op Bank, has failed. Lloyds and RBS are on, if you like, special measures. And the other five, the likes of Barclays, HSBC and Santander UK, have all passed with no requirement to amend their capital plans.